Hello, Gemini. Let's do your June reading. Um, I say June, however, all videos I put out are timeless, so it doesn't matter when you see this. Also note that there is no gender in tarot, so it doesn't matter what images are on the card, me, male or female. We all have divine feminine and divine masculine qualities. Cross watchers, welcome. This will be for sun, moon, rising, and Venus. If this message does not resonate with you, which it's not going to resonate with everybody, it's a general message, check your other placements. Um, don't forget to like, click the little like button and um, share. And if you want to be notified of new content that I upload, click the subscribe button. This helps me get my messages, get my messages out to other readers. And everything else you want to know will be in the description box. Um, I do try and read all my comments. I can't always respond, but I do try to read all my comments. So that being said, we are going to draw one card from each Oracle deck, and then we'll clarify with separate decks of tarot. So let's start with the Moonology deck. Let's get a card for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? Clarity and, and guidance for my Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? Sometimes these little suckers will pop right out, and other times you got to go in after them. Either way, we get the message. Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? All right, let's go get it. A fiery climax approaches. That looks a lot like the full moon we just had, doesn't it? Hmm... All right, what does Gemini need to know from this deck? Clarity and guidance for Gemini, please. Show me the cards I need to see for Gemini. Yeah, these are all being stubborn, aren't they? Let's go in after it. Welcome the new. Interesting. Intriguing. <laughs> All right. And this is a new deck that I have. It is called the Sacred Forest Oracle. I do have the book on hand just in case I want a little more clarity. I haven't worked with it more than once or twice. So... All right, clarity and guidance for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? Show me the cards and messages for Gemini, please. What does Gemini need to know? Well, I'm not taking both of those, so. Okay, apparently you need to know everything. <laughs> All right, let's go in after it. One got flipped upside down, I think. I don't like that. All right, let's go in after it. Spirit Guardian of Spring, activation. So as you know, spring is when all the flowers bloom and, and um, life is kind of activated, right? After a, a long, dark winter. Okay, so let's unpack this. I'm going to go ahead and get... Three cards, three tarot cards. I've got three separate decks to be able to clarify each card. So let's get a let's get a card for a fiery climax approaches. A fiery climax approaches. And that is the energy of a full moon in Aries. You could be in Aries, you could be dealing with an Aries, or you could just be in that energy, right? Or someone could be. So, well, the Nine of Pentacles came out, so let's get the other two. What does Gemini need to know about a fiery climax approaches? What do we need to know? Let's go after it. We've got the Page of Swords, so maybe someone watching you, maybe somebody going to send you some kind of a message, and the Page of Cups. I would say somebody's watching and getting ready to communicate emotionally. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles. Unpack the rest of this. So, clarity and guidance for 
welcome the new. You know, look what was on the bottom of the deck. That Nine of Pentacles. Welcome the new. Okay. Three of Pentacles. Two more. Alrighty. Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> welcome the new. What does... What does... Uh, Gemini need to know about this welcome the new. Clarify this for me. Show me the cards I need to see for welcome the new. Okay. The moon. And on the bottom of the deck, the king of cups. All right, one more here. So we've got activation, spirit guardian of spring. What does... Gemini need to know about activation. I've seen this card several times now. We've got the Fool. What does Gemini need to know about activation? I may have to go in after it. Let's do it. We've got the Eight of Pentacles again, in the same spot even, and the Ace of Wands. Bottom of the deck, the world. All right, guys. So, a fiery climax approaches. I feel like this message is for someone, male or female, doesn't matter, who is single. You may have someone on your mind, you may have somebody you want to talk to, but for the most part, you are single. However, you... Are, understand and are aware that you can take care of yourself, that you don't need another person to complete you, that you are whole just as you are. You are financially stable. You are independent. You are strong. Okay. You don't need anyone else to make your life work. But uh, here comes uh, something, right? We know something's coming in because we've got these, these pages. Somebody is coming in to speak their truth and to tell you how they feel about you. Pages are messengers of the deck. Now, sometimes the page of swords can be um, somebody watching you, and this person may very well be watching you. You may be watching them one way or another. You know, you could both be watching each other. But somebody is coming in to tell you how they feel, and they may very well have had their eye on you for a while. There's dogs barking next door, so you'll have to excuse the, the ruckus. Okay, so welcome the new. So, you know, you have probably been on your own for a minute. You may be hesitant, right? You may really um, want to know how how this person is going to fit into your life. I, 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 The three of pentacles is you, your person, and spirit working together. You're used to working by yourself, right? You're used to being self-sufficient. You're used to being... Um, working on your own, but I do see that money is good for you, okay? I mean, we've got eight of pentacles here, nine of pentacles here, three of pentacles here, and eight of pentacles again, okay? So your money is looking good, right? And that may be something, you know, that you've worked hard for and sometimes you're a little leery when getting into relationships because you don't want to, you know, you're not there to pay somebody else's bills, right? But the universe is telling you to welcome the new. Welcome this, this person into your circle, okay? And and put in the work, right? Put in the work of trying to of trying to make a relationship work and don't just doubt it. You do have some doubts, the moon. You have some doubts, you have some fears. But I feel like um this is Cancer Pisces energy. So you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces. Um, and we also have Cancer Pisces Scorpio over here and King of Cups on the bottom of the deck, which is water energy. Um, it's Scorpio, but it can be Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. Okay. So I feel like you don't, you don't necessarily see this right away. And the universe is telling you to welcome the new, right? I feel your hesitation. I feel your leery. I really do feel like you almost want to escape into work just because you're you're so leery of this person or of this situation. But 
you know, this is also intuition and the universe is telling you that this is a safe path. That just because it's dark doesn't mean it's not safe, okay? And the moon is very dreamy. It's very intuitive, right? It's listening to your intuition. So over here with this um, activation, that is a, that's a looks like a, a maypole, you know, like you used to on in like on May Day, with the ribbons and walking around. Anyway. Um, Spirit guardian of spring activation. So something is trying to grow here. Something that has been dormant for a long time. This this could have been a situation where you have been on, you know, single for a long time or this person has had their eye on you for a long time. But with this um with this fool card, they want to take a leap of faith with you. And they want you, you know, they want you to take it with them. They want to work on this relationship. They have passion for you. They want a new beginning. We have two cards of new beginnings and making, doing what we need to do to make it work. Um, bringing something to life, activating this energy that, that's been dormant for so long and bringing it into reality. Okay. Which is, which is, I mean, that's what happens in the spring. You know, after, after everything lay, lies dormant, over the winter in the spring that's when we see all of those those new um flowers coming up and the grass is green right so the book actually says get ready big changes are ahead things that have been incubating are now coming to life right so things that we ha couldn't see before now we're going to see a profound transformation is ahead Take risks, right? Welcome the new. Take risk. Keep going. Prepare for this time of upheaval, fluctuations, and renewal. And the end result will be glorious. Absolutely. Because here's your end result is, is you guys are on the same page. You're working hard for this new beginning. Okay? So let's get a card from the universe. And it can be it can be guidance, it can be advice, it can just be a message that the universe wants you to wants you to hear, needs you to know. Well, I got two. <laughs> I got the lovers, which is just simple. Which is the lovers is in the you know in the um, regular tarot. It says true love that is long lasting. Choices made from the heart, a return to good health. Okay. We also have the eight of autumn. It says, do more research before proceeding. Education in the form of seminars, going back to school or apprenticeships, excellent craftsmanships and long-term projects. That's where I'm seeing all of your money. This is talking about your money. Um, so you look good on the money front and on the relationship front. There's, there's no downside to this, right? This may be, these two cards here especially could be um, you talking to other people about, you know, ventures in money and, and working on that money, okay? But in this end card right here, um, this is both, you. this is you and your person, you know, you both are on the same page as far as money. Um, so welcome the new, don't doubt it. Because somebody somebody is coming to to bring you um, that fiery climax. Eight, wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sag. They don't have to be. But um, this is a really beautiful reading. This is a lot of really good stuff. And I hope that it resonates with you. Please don't forget to click that like, share, and subscribe button. And everything you need to know is in the description box below. And I will see you next time.